Bark of an old tree trunk and oak for a good back scratcher. Big Mike prefers a 19-year-old Asian topless lap dancer with long red lacquered fingernails at Flash Dancers Gentlemen's Club on 52nd and Broadway. Set you back about 20 bucks, but it's well worth the price, at least in Big Mike's humble opinion. Twin stone tablets brought down from on high by lawgiver Moses clearly dictate to us poor, mere, miserable mortals that thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, the tenth of ten commandments, even if thy neighbor is young Christ bearded crusty kid, passed out in pharmacological combo of meth, oxy, elevil, and Xanax on a park bench beneath the spreading boughs of the ancient black oak grizzly bear scratching post in Union Square Park. And his wife is the wild gypsy girl in black leather and lace, redhead Stevie Nicks belladonna clone, nomad with the brindle pit bull wearing his red bandana and toe on a steel bicycle choke chain leash. Pale Carrera marble skin, sunburn and freckles, blue eyes and button nose, young Irish heroin whore, the girl of Big Mike's dreams in thigh-high black pirate boots. What's a nice girl like you doing in a joint like this? Just lucky, I guess. I prefer my sex partners with better feminine hygiene. Well, I've had sex partners whose vaginas reek of stale horse piss long simmering in the unforgiving baking sun of a steamy August New York afternoon in Central Park South, devouring it with great gusto. Yum, yummy, them's good eating. I find the unique aroma of an unwashed female genitalia to be a, a very efficacious aphrodisiac, like Napoleon in his private correspondences to the Empress Josephine. I am returning to you from the battlefields of Russia. Please do not bathe. Napoleon was a well-versed connoisseur of fine French wines and spirituous brandies. Also, apparently, an equally well-versed connoisseur of fine, fetid fragrances of women with less than stellar feminine hygiene. So stake out another park bench directly across from Nature Boy and await the royal audience with vaginally, hygienically challenged Empress Queen Eugenia. The Empress arrives in Paris aboard her three-wheeled scooter, her tricycle walker, the serene celestial ruler of Union Square Park herself, sticking her hand beneath her diaphanous orange polyester rayon blend Indian peasant skirt, vigorously scratching the filthy royal rump. Essence of dead Louisiana Bayou catfish rises from below the regal raiments of Diana, Princess of Wales. Yum, yummy, them's good eating. Her Majesty then lifts the lifeless skull of her heroin addict emperor from his bare, dirt caked, heavily tattooed chest where it rests in drug induced slumber, then releases it to flop dead weight into his own urine soaked crotch where rogue field mice scamper up and down the greasy fabric of his tattered pant legs, burrowing their way inside his loins, seeking refuge for the night, and finally scooting off on her three wheel escape vehicle. Somehow or other, Big Mike must get into this gypsy queen's filthy cum-stained panties. And soon, Big Mike can practically smell them now. Yum, yummy, them's good eating. Thou shalt not commit adultery, the sixth of ten commandments. <laughs>